Looking for the best waterproof ham radio? In this video, we've done an extensive review of the top waterproof ham radios, and we rated them according to features, reliability, audio clarity, and value for money. Price information and all ham radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. So let's get started. Number 3. Bao Feng UV9R Pro Best Budget Waterproof Ham Radio Bao Feng likes to present the UV9R Pro as an upgrade to the ever-popular Bao Feng UV5R, although this isn't the only contender for that spot from Bao Feng stable. The company has several models lined up as UV5R upgrades, including the Baofeng UV-S9+. Plus. Of course, all these upgrades have something more to offer than the UV5R. In the case of Baofeng UV9R Pro, the upgrade is a newer chipset, body, and a bigger battery. However, the overall operation and feel of the system is very much like the UV5R. One of the most important upgrades this radio has received is a new body and casing. It's taller and a bit heftier than the UV5R, but then it also looks and feels the part of a better quality build. The better quality of the casing allows the Baofeng UV9R Pro to be fully waterproof. The radio is rated IP67, which means it can handle being submerged in water for a depth of up to 1 meter, or up to 30 minutes. Obviously, this also means that it can withstand being exposed to heavy rain for a while. Besides, there is a visual charm to better casing quality and color options. Since it has a bigger body, the device can now hold a bigger battery. It comes equipped with a 2800 mAh lithium-ion battery. Interestingly, there are two variations of the battery. One is a plain model that goes into a dock for charging and takes its sweet time sitting there. The second style is a battery that includes a USB Type-C port and is relatively quick to charge. Right above the battery compartment at the back is a connector for the belt clip. Bao Feng isn't using the classic belt clip here, but a new design. It works well enough, but can take some time to get used to. The mic connector is located on the side. It has a rubber cover over it and closes nicely to remain waterproof. You get an adapter with this connector here to attach a K-type microphone. It increases the length of the cable, which can be fairly convenient in some cases. The overall TX quality remains consistent despite the addition of the adapter. With all the other improvements, there is an improvement in the TX power as well. Baofeng UV9R Pro has maximum power output at 8 watts, and it also offers mid and low power options at 5 watts and 1 watt. At the top of the radio is a Nagoya-style antenna, which looks and performs better than the rubber ducky generally seen on Baofeng radios. Overall, this is an excellent dual-band HT with attractive pricing, good features, and good waterproofing. Number 2. Yesu FT T5DR, Best Premium Waterproof M Radio. As you look at the Yaesu FT5DR, it's impossible not to draw parallels with the lower model of the Yaesu FT3DR. Both radios have a similar design, features, and general functions. It's often said that Yaesu developed the FT5DR because the global chip shortage made it difficult to source the parts for the 3DR. Thankfully, rather than throwing together a radio with what was available, Yaesu took the time to make improvements on the radio. Yaesu FT5DR has better voice clarity works better with Bluetooth and a relatively cleaner look. It is slightly larger and bulkier than the FT3DR, but the 5DR has a cleaner profile. This is especially visible with the buttons on the side of the radios. The FT3DR has something of a bulge with the buttons, while the 5DR is sleeker. It's a small change, but it works very well for the aesthetics. Differences aside, both these radios belong to the Fusion lineup and share overlapping features. Related accessories, including the battery, are compatible between these models. Speaking of the battery, while the 2200 mAh lithium-ion battery looks sufficient, it's a good idea to get another battery pack. The charging times can be painfully long and it's usually better to swap batteries rather than waiting around for the pack to charge. Though the battery takes its sweet time charging, it does a great job when it's in action. The battery can last a day, even when transmitting at the maximum 5 watt output RF power. The 5 watt output is fairly standard for handheld ham radios like the FTD5DR and this radio seems to handle it beautifully. The received audio also appears better and louder due to the use of a powerful 1 watt speaker. Yesu FT5 5DR is a competent addition to the company's Fusion Radio lineup. The dual-band ham radio can work with VHF and UHF bands, with the capability to listen to two frequencies simultaneously. There are two independent receivers to work on these frequencies. Two LED indicators above the display present visual feedback for the working of the A-band and B-band. A key feature of the FT5DR is the implementation of digital communication, where it's worth comparing this radio to its close competitor, the ICOM ID52A. ICOM's offering is slightly longer and bulkier than the FT5DR, though it maintains a similar overall form. 
A quick difference between the two is that the Yaesu ham radio has a touchscreen while ICOM 52 does not. The bigger question in choosing between these ham radios is whether you want Fusion or D-Star. Yaesu's implementation of the digital amateur radio employs C4FM communication with APRS, Automatic Packet Reporting System. ICOM uses D-Star to accomplish the same. This means that these ham radios transmit and receive data for information like GPS coordinates, texts, and images. However, the APRS with Yaesu's implementation generally works better than ICOM D-Star. Yesu's use of C4FM also provides excellent features like automatic mode select, AMS, digital group ID, DGID, and smart navigation. When using features like smart navigation, users can track their location en route or save it to a micro SD memory card. Similarly, you could use the micro SD card to store pictures you intend to send or receive. A lot of data can go into the memory card. Yesu FT5DR will also accept software updates through its micro SD card. Since so many features find their place in this expensive package, we expect it to be strong and rugged. The FT5DR doesn't disappoint in these points. The ham radio has an impressive build quality. It's rated IPX7, which means it's waterproof and can spend a few minutes submerged without being damaged. Though it does a lot of things right, this radio is not without its flaws. Another important one is the learning curve for using this. If you haven't used a Fusion radio before, it will take a while to get used to the ham radio. Number 1. Ilons HD1 Ham Radio, our top choice. Digital mobile radio has made significant inroads into the conventional ham radio space. It's a relatively new technology and takes on the decades-old ham radio setup. Its use of digital systems provides some functional benefits, though the technology has yet to mature. The potential of DMR shows wonderfully with the Islands HD1 DMR radio. A combination of interesting features and digital technology can make it easier for some beginners. There is a viable overlap between mobile phones and their usability. While not necessary for hams, it is usually recommended that DMR register for a unique ID. This ID is somewhat analogous to a cell phone number and can be used for direct contact or even sending SMS texts. Islands HD1 DMR can store 200,000 numbers and work with 3,000 channels. Thanks to dual band compatibility, it can transmit and receive on analog as well as digital frequencies. With all these features, Islands HD1 DMR radio is somewhat expensive, but the pricing isn't really unheard of for ham radios or even DMRs. Its competitor, Anytone AT-D878UVII Plus gets a higher price tag with a similar technology. To be fair, the higher price tag does win the Anytone AT-D878U7 Plus a few extra features, like a 500,000 storage for contact lists and a 7-watt output power. Though Anytone can be programmed through a computer or through the front panel, FFP, it's a bit more difficult to set up compared to the iLens HD1. As a handheld radio, it has an impressive 3200 mAh battery that can last up to 16 hours in continuous use or 7 days in standby mode. The GPS on this device presents the location, but also altitude, bearing, and speed. This can come quite in handy in several situations and is especially useful for emergencies. Other notable features of this radio include FPP, front panel programming, and IP67, waterproofing. FPP means users can access all functions on the radio through its keypad and can set or customize features. The IP67 waterproofing means it can survive being submerged in one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. The dual band function on the Islands HD1 DMR allows it to TX and RX on analog as well as digital frequencies. While the function is seamless, the digital approach of DMR is something of a departure from traditional hams. It offers some convenience of learning to beginners, but that comes more as a familiarity with digital devices like mobile phones rather than conventional ham radios. Overall, this is the best overall waterproof handheld DMR radio. So what do you think? Which of these is the best waterproof ham radio for you? Or do you think another ham radio is better for your outdoor adventure? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.